Police in Paris have removed hundreds of homeless migrants from a squat in the city, which is believed to be the biggest in France. More than 400 migrants were believed to be living in the camp to the south of Paris. Some human rights groups have questioned uh, the legality of the eviction. This is the latest in a series of operations to clear camps used by migrants in and around Paris, which will stage the Olympic Games in July and August. Let's speak now to uh, Lisa Louis, who is a freelance journalist in Paris. Thanks very much for coming on the programme. Thank you for having me. So just talk us through what happened here. Well, in the morning, this morning, police, uh, right, police moved in. And as you said, they, uh, they evacuated hundreds of migrants who, according to aid associations, uh, were mostly legal migrants who had been living there and working, you know, living there, staying there while they were working across uh, the Ile-de-France, Paris region. And they moved them elsewhere. We don't know yet where to. Uh, generally speaking, the authorities tend to bring at least some of uh, those they evacuate uh, during the such actions uh, to reception centres a bit further away from Paris. We, we don't have confirmation on that just yet. And what do the authorities say is the reason behind all this? Well, I've been talking to the authorities uh, a few weeks ago because there have been some stories about, you know, evacuations ahead of the Olympic Games that, as you know, will start in late July here in Paris. And eight associations have been saying that, alleging that the authorities were trying to get people out of the city centre, out of uh, areas where the Games will be happening or where uh, people will be staying in this area. This morning in Vitry-sur-Seine, which is just south of Paris, uh, some delegations will stay. There will be no competitions there. But, for example, the Japanese breakdance team, and breakdance is part of the Olympic Games this time around, they will stay there. So eight associations have been saying, you know, you're bringing them away to make, you know, the, the, the area prettier. However, the government is replying, no, this is just what we always do. And we provide temporary shelter or even permanent shelter. We want to bring, we want, uh, to bring people to safety, actually. And this is just what we always do. However, the authorities admit that there are certain areas in Paris uh, where people, homeless people, can't stay during the Games. One of these areas is, for example, right next to the, the lawn in front of the Invalides, uh, you know, the museum there because there you will have the archery competition and there will be a temporary stadium that will be built there so people can't stay and sleep rough there. What about human rights groups? What have they had to say? Well, human rights groups are complaining that the, that the authorities, so to say, uh, are allegedly cracking down on people sleeping rough, on migrants, on anybody who could disturb this, you know, image of a beautiful Paris during the Olympic Games and the Paralympic Games, by the way, that will start in late August. They're also saying that the number of uh, places in temporary shelters or even permanent shelters are not far from enough actually, for uh, the number of people who live, who sleep rough here in Paris. Eight associations estimate that there are about 3,000 or even more, more than 3,000 people who don't have a permanent home here in Paris. And authorities have been telling me we provide three or 400 places for people. So uh, the figures seem to diverge. The authorities are saying the eight associations are getting the figures wrong, wrong and the eight associations are accusing the authorities of underestimating the needs.